I will try my best to make this video as quickly as possible that all you guys, I'm not wasting your time. Sack passe. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to the Amazon channel. Now, I spent a good portion of my time on YouTube trying to find different videos that would help me make this video a lot better for you guys. And at the end of the day, I realized uh, everyone else that I was looking at already had their setup done from years ago. And there was no one showing me the different skeleton version of what they created. Okay. Now. Every single thing that you guys are gonna see in this video that I got a chance to showcase, that's on my desk, whatever it is, it is the link is directly in the description so that you guys can go and, and um, check them out. And if it's something you guys enjoy and you guys wanna actually do, then you have the links already there and we appreciate um, you guys helping us. Now, as you guys could already see, my background is pretty much blank. There's nothing there. It's because I, I am trying to do it as basic as possible. If you're part of the IMC gang, you already know that me and Alan are both in nursing school, which means for me personally, the biggest problem that I was having was finding a location in my crib or my place that I can study without having any distractions. And because I stream my sessions, I had to figure out a way to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing and that it looked a little bit better for you guys. And so I ended up going with this version. I'm not sure when, which side I'm going to be looking at. I didn't like it, and I was like, let me try a different version. I tried this other version, garbage, hot trash. So I was like, okay, let me just scrap everything, take off everything everywhere. Bruv, I'm trying to record here. And uh, we take off everything and then um, start from scratch. And this is the version you guys are seeing now, which is here. If I'm working here, you guys can see my entire setup. So in this entire video, I'm gonna essentially show you guys the process of building the space. Now, it might not look like the craziest aesthetic looking thing, but it works for me. And in the process of me building this segment, which is just the study session, because I'm still gonna be nursing school for the next year and a half, you guys will get a chance to see the different updates that I do. So, let's get into this video. Alrighty guys, so essentially what you're looking at is what my setup looked like prior to me changing everything up. This was actually the second version, and honestly, uh, as I was creating it, um, uh, I thought it was going to be a lot better as far as comfort um, level. As you guys can see in the corner, I've got my little pillow. You know, I was like, oh, this is going to be pretty good. But upon actually trying to do a stream, I was very uncomfortable. My shorts kept riding up, showing this thigh meat, and I was like, I can't have that out here. And as you can see, cables are everywhere. And um, I am one of those people that, like, I will create something, and then I look at it too long, and then I'm going to go, yeah, we're good here. Let's go ahead and change everything up. So I did one stream with this setup, and I was uh, I was, uh, I was, was a bit tired of, of seeing it because it was very difficult for me to move around my bedroom. Um, you can kind of see that table in the back where I had everything set up to where that was the first version. I probably should have left it at that version, but I'm glad I went to the second version. That way I can actually... Uh, get to where I am now and for in the next steps to come. So as you hope with anything else, the the next the, the first steps we want to do is uh, break everything down. And that's exactly what I did. One thing that you don't realize <laughs> whenever you're purchasing a lot of different um, equipment is the amount of cables that kind of comes into play with the amount of equipment that you're purchasing. And uh, I, I learned that lesson the hard way as I was breaking down the entire setup uh, that I had before because I was streaming as far as my gaming and I was also doing my live stream study session and I had no room on my table, which is one of the reasons that sparked the whole idea of me changing what I had at that moment to a whole new setup that would just work better with flow uh, for my room. So the desk that I actually use uh, is exactly, I believe, 47 inches um, this way. And then this way, it is exactly, I believe, like 23 to 24 uh, inches. I do this and this mainly because I, um, I'm i trying to speak to that person that wants basic information. I don't need to tell you that this table was made off of oak tree wood from deep wherever country. Like, table works pretty good. This is the dimension of it. Oh, 47 inches this way and 24 to 23 inches that way. Let's keep it moving on. I measured the table just because I wanted to make sure that it was going to fit um, properly against that wall. And thank God it does. Now, that whiteboard that you guys see in the back is what I was using to make sure I was, you know, when I was doing my study sessions, I could actually write on it. And as I kind of um, kept upgrading with the different um, streams that I was doing, I was realizing that I was spending more and more 
time on my actual computer as far as taking notes or typing on my computer versus actually utilizing that whiteboard. So I was like, okay, well, since I'm not using that, eventually I want to do something with that background. So for now, let's take it down and then repurpose it for something else in the crib. As usual, guys, we got to make sure we clean the area they're going to be going on because uh, I don't know. There's something therapeutic about vacuuming your um, carpet. And so that's the only reason I'm, I, I, I'm bringing this up. Um, it doesn't matter what table that I use. Um, like a lot of my friends will hit me up and they'll be like, yo, why do you keep drilling holes in your table? Would you do the exact same thing if this table cost $2,000? Yes. Yes, I would. Because I am very much so by convenience, right? Um, I could, I'll could i show you guys later on in the video, but you, you can drill holes in any of the tables that you have. That way, or you can kind of fix uh, whatever cable situation you got going on. And as for me, I have a lot of wires going a lot of different places. And drilling holes in different specific locations helps me as far as being able to um, properly manage the cables that I have because I have a lot of things on my table. Of course, I wanted to make sure I got some additional room on... Uh, you guys can see I want to make sure I got some additional room on my uh, setup so I move my bed closer to the opposite wall that way I wasn't having a problem walking in and out of this area and as you guys can see right now I'm walking in perfectly fine no problem nothing uh, so that's one of the things I like um, listen any companies out there that want to sponsor this channel and uh, with, the, with the next version of chairs gaming chairs uh, workflow uh, chairs listen I appreciate you. I would love for you guys to do that, okay? Hit me up. Emails in the description. And as usual, guys, you gotta make sure you test like this. You gotta test out the setup. Make sure as your dad, you know, making some conversation, everything works perfectly. Um, so next thing that we got a chance to do here is uh installing my microphone that I usually use in the studio whenever I'm creating content with my brother Alan. Uh, but since Alan's not here and I'm realizing I'm spending more and more time in my room, I don't need to keep going back and forth between this studio and the other room i was like let me just put my microphone in my room that way i can capture the quality audio when we're streaming now i don't really know why i was cleaning the table for because i literally didn't i think in the next couple clips i'm drilling holes in the table because i did i tend to drill holes in in my tables it allows me to have better cable management and you guys are gonna see in the next scene whenever i flip this table over you're gonna be able to see um how i had done something in the past which was uh, I had an entire, um, I'm not sure what that thing is called. What is that thing called? Cable. As you guys are kind of seeing in the next couple clips, I am just unscrewing the, uh, the previous screws. I can actually re, um, repurpose them and move, uh, that box, Fricky's name, to a different location. Have it on the right side of the table. That way, when I'm sitting down, all of the cords are running to my right versus trying to go across my legs. And goes directly to that plug that you guys see in that back in the back over there. And I'm testing out the microphone. Microphone works perfectly fine. And one of the issues I was having was trying to figure out where I was going to put my um, actual uh, computer, which is the iMac. That's one of the ones I'm using. Uh, whether that's gonna be on the left side or it's gonna be on the right side. The dilemma. But as I kind of get everything situated, it made more sense for it to end up being on my right side. That way I can show, see you guys whenever I'm looking at the different cameras that I have. One of the equipments that's supposed to be coming soon is actually a uh, case a holder that's going to go under my desk for my Xbox. Because you guys know me and Alan do stream whenever we game. Uh, and so having the Xbox off of my desk and under my table in a neat slot is something I'm very excited about. That way um, I can still have less and less things on my table especially when i'm doing a homework Alrighty, guys so um the light that i'm actually using is the elgato i don't remember what what kind it is but i uh everything that is in this entire video i got off of amazon except for the shirt sm7b and my scarlet and in this elgato i ordered this from the elgato website my scarlet and my sm7b i got them from um the guitar center and then i bought my imac from apple Outside of that, everything else that you guys are seeing in this video, the links are in the description. Please utilize them. Um, or from Amazon, and I've acquired them over the year, the past three years. Uh, this camera you guys are seeing, I've had this camera since 2012, I believe. No, 2014. Uh, I got it from a buddy of mine for like $200. It's like the Sony DSCX80. 
Um, it's like a vlog camera. It works great. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever it's on uh, the camera. So this is what th that camera actually looks like. Um, not the best, but again, start somewhere. Um, one of the things that I've realized as I was building this channel was that the longer we sat there going, yo, I can't wait to get a better camera that we can create quality content, the longer it was delaying the process of us starting a channel. The longer we're delaying, yo, when we get a microphone, we're going to have some great audio. The longer we're going to keep delaying you actually starting and doing content with audio. Because the more you're waiting to get nicer and nicer things, you're just going to delay the process. Next camera that I have, I'm not going to lie, <clears throat> we uh, we effed up on this one, guys. So the camera that you guys are seeing right now on in my hand is the, shown, uh, it's the Canon M50. And I didn't buy them, Alan did, so I don't really remember how much he spent on them, but... I really wish we had just, because we bought two of them, because we're like, this is going to be great, but in, it wasn't. I really wish we had kind of like just combined the amount we spent on just those two cameras and purchased like the Sony A6000 or like A6400, but it's in the past now, but we're still going to utilize it, and this is what that camera looks like. Um, I'm trying to find it here. Yep, yeah. this is what that camera looks like. Whenever I'm recording content, you can you can kind of see my entire room here. Uh, I don't like it too much, but again, I'm not going to complain too much about it because I appreciate your camera back to the show. So we decided to put the iMac on the right side of the desk, and uh, that's what you guys are kind of seeing here. And eventually, you're going to start seeing a lot of cables pile up um, because there's going to be a lot of wires that goes into the setup. And um, one of the things I wanted to focus on was kind of create, create as minimal as possible um, when it comes to like seeing what you guys can see as far as my cables, which why you saw me tape it up and put that massive box in the corner so that everything can kind of go directly to one location. Yeah, like I was talking about in the, in the earlier in the videos, I drill holes in the tables. People think I'm kidding about this. Bruv, I'm trying to record content, Hermie. This dog here, bro. So yeah, I am team drill holes in every table that I have. That way it looks better for me. Um, and so in that area is where I have my current Scarlet 2 i2, which is what we utilize in the studio. I just went over here and uh, I wanted to be kind of centered over here And I realized that hmm I needed the holes to be able to thread my XLR cables in in order for me to properly have it look aesthetic to me It's not the greatest, but it's a start pause real quick any companies out there that do headphones. I would love to Hey, send headphones our way, okay? Because these headphones are straight up garbage. We need some freaking subwoofers in our ears. So if you are one of those companies that goes, yo, I've got a bunch of headphones sitting in the warehouse, link in the description, please reach out to us. We need two, by the way, or four. Do we have two for gaming, two for, okay. So on this table right now, what you guys are seeing is the iMac that I utilize to shoot all my content, to record all my content from, the headphones that needs to be upgraded, the microphone, and on the table, you're seeing two Elgato um, uh, HD 60 frames um, plus, right? I use them with both cameras, and then whenever I'm gaming, I use one of them for the Xbox. That way, it gives you guys quality uh, whenever you guys are watching the streams that we got we get a chance to do so I went ahead and utilize what I don't, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's like a double-sided um, Velcro type of strip, um, but that's what I utilize to connect the uh, Gatos for under the desk that way um, If I need to go somewhere and I need to bring one of those uh, Gatos with me I can just un velcro it. I don't even think that's a word and kind of keep going So I installed two of them that way I can have two two cameras when at the exact same time which you guys guys were seeing, which is camera A, no, A, and then camera B. So at this moment, I'm trying to figure out different ways to get some better cable management. Um, that way, uh, there's less of a tripping hazard uh, because on the other studio is chaotic. And again, one of the biggest things that I was having problem with was the um, convenience aspect of having a lot of stuff that in my room and uh, having everything taped down, having everything uh, kind of twisted around each other. Uh, helps me create more space in this area. Hanging up that poster, which is my, you know, I'm not trying to say your boy played varsity, but you're seeing it right there. Your boy played varsity basketball and varsity soccer. I was outside, guys. I've been that guy. I is him. And of course, we're going to bring back that couch, which is on the opposite side. So whenever I'm done studying, if I just want to relax for a little bit and kind of just look at the window, 
I can do so without having to worry about, you know, I don't know. It's just having to leave my room, if that makes sense. And just like that, that is the finished product. I Like I said, guys. It is a skeleton version of what somebody's Elite Studio looks like. But again, that's okay because you got to start somewhere. And for me, I didn't want to go ahead and buy a bunch of stuff to try to make it look cool for you guys. I was like, okay, I am in nursing school. I have to have some space that's dedicated to studying. And as I am in my room, let me try to figure out a way to create some sort of area that I can do so. And you guys got just to see all of the different ways I set up my entire um, desk uh, and so forth. I hope this video helped you guys, or at least give you guys some insight of uh, um, into the background of uh, what I have as far as the setup for the streams. Um, and if you guys have questions, please put them in the comments. Um, if you want to sponsor the video, definitely reach out to us. I would love that. Um, but again, guys, one of the things that I'm always going to say is um, focus on you and the things that you want to do. This is just a version of um, of hundreds of thousands of different ideas. Pick from this what you'd like. The link is in the description for all of the stuff that I use on this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please, please, please hit that subscribe button below to listen before the squad at all times. Don't cheat yourself, y'all. Love thyself. Thank you for that. Peace.